In this video, we'll be looking at this very smart light strip that really does add atmosphere to anything that you're watching on the TV. It's really affordable also. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So last year I did a video about the Gobi Smart Light Strip. Now this is a really clever light strip which sticks to the back of the desk. In fact, I've tagged that video onto the end of this one. So at four minutes 23, you can watch that video if you're interested in that product. But this is now just an accent color that I have at the back of my desk and I think it just makes my room look smart. Now the product that we're looking at today is another Govi Smart Light Strip, but this time it sits at the back of the TV. And where it's very clever is it will react to what's on the TV. Now if you've seen the Philips Hue sync box, that does a similar thing, but that's over 200 pounds, whereas this Govi Light Strip is around 60 pounds, around $60. And it has a camera which basically reads what's going on on the TV and then enables the light strip to react accordingly. And what effectively it does, it gives you far more drama. I'm going to be hooking it up to this smaller TV, which is very simple to do. All you have to do is plug the camera into the box, plug the LED light strip in, and then the power. And then obviously you need to stick that light strip around. Now the one that I've got is designed for a 50 to 55 inch TV, and it's actually got those little connections which will allow it to go around the corner, so there isn't any lost area of light. Now, because this TV that I've got is a little bit smaller, that's why I'm having to just double up in some places. But again, very simple. It sticks in, and then all you have to do is plug it into the box. There's even a sticky attachment to the back of the box, so if you want this stuck to the back of the TV, you can have it that way also. So hopefully, you can hide all the wires. So effectively, what happens is the camera attachment will sit on top of the TV. It will then read what's going on on the TV screen, and then it will react to the the light behind basically when it's set up you'll get something like this happening now this is a bug's life which is on I've just blurred it just so that I'm not infringing anyone's copyright but what it does is it very subtly just changes the screen now you can adjust how dramatic you want that to be it can be even more subtle or it can be even more vibrant but what I found is that this just adds a little bit of atmosphere and you don't even notice it but it really does add that extra atmosphere to whatever you're watching there's also a setting that if you're listening to music, you can have it reacting to the music and it will go to the rhythm of the song that you're watching. So again, very clever. I found that this is a little bit off-putting though, but it might be great if you were having a party and you had a playlist going on on the TV, then something like that may work well. And also, you don't have to have the lights changing at all. If you want to, you can just have it as a very subtle accent light. And again, because it's RGB, you can go right through the whole color spectrum and have a subtle light in the background. And again, I've got it quite Quite vibrant on here just so that it's very clear so that you can see but you can have it as bright or as dim as subtle or as bright like this as you wish it really is very clever now another great thing with this is that you can also hook it up to your assistant so your Google or Amazon assistant and it will then work with the rest of your setup and it will just turn on when you give it that command now I will demonstrate that for you at the end of this video when I go through the original setup for the light strip but effectively what you do when you're calibrating this is that you get the camera to see the screen and then you drag the points over the screen like is being indicated on the TV that then gives it the area that it focuses on and so therefore that's when it will read what's on the screen and then display behind it and that's when it's in video mode now obviously if it's in a different mode like music or just a single color then that won't make any difference and it will just give whatever color you've chosen now I thought that the video mode was probably the best mode or a single color. So depending on what you want to do, I would say that if you're watching a movie, then definitely go for that video mode because it definitely adds some drama to whatever you're watching. This is a trailer for the new Top Gun movie. And as you can see, it works really well in the background. But you can just have it as a single color if you want to, as I showed you earlier. So guys, that's it. This is a very clever thing that you can hook up to your Govi app and use with Amazon Alexa and also your Google Assistant. Now that process, I'll demonstrate that in the setup video of the light strip, which is coming up in a few seconds. So if you want to know how to set these things up, the same processes with both, and I'll demonstrate how you set up the app as well. But that will be for the light strip, but the same process is for this. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Is this something which you would find off-putting or is it something you'd like? 
So my friends, this is the quite brilliant strip light from Govi. This is five meters in length. It costs $24.99 in the UK, $34.99 in the US. I'll leave the links in the description for you. What is brilliant about this is not only the price, to give you some comparison, the Philips Hue light strip for just two meters cost 65 pounds and 75 dollars so this is far far cheaper but also you don't need a bridge with this you can use it straight away via the app and you can also link it to your google assistant and to your alexa device so therefore you can control it with your voice you also have a standalone controller so if you want to you can just literally plug it in and use the controller to switch through the different modes you don't even need to use the app now one of the things i really liked about this was the fact that it was very very sticky so you actually had the 3m sticky tape on the bottom and you also had some extra attachments so therefore you could stick it on very easily now as you can see i've run it around the edge of my desk now obviously this doesn't go around corners too well so as you can see it's a little bit of a mess in the corner part but other than that which you don't really see it wasn't a problem to attach and it really stuck very firmly you do get an alcohol wipe so that you can give the surface a wipe but once you run it around the surface that you want to do all you need to do then is cut it to length on one of the cutting points and then you need to plug it in and that my friends is also just as simple now just be careful when you connect it that it's the right way round. but once you've done that then connect the power and then it should work and you're ready to go and I think it delivers a really nice light but where in my opinion this comes into its own is with the application all you need to do from your app store is search Govi you'll then connect to the application find the device that you've just purchased and then click on that you will need to set up an account but it's just a email address there's no payment or credit card details or anything like that and you'll also need to set it up to your Wi-Fi but once you've done that you'll be able to then operate the light through the application and this is where it gets really interesting for instance if you click music mode then it reacts to sound So that's going to be brilliant for parties or events. Now you can have it in just a standard set color. Now I'm speeding this up so you can see that going through the range, but you can just have it as one color all the time, which I probably prefer for my office environment. Now setting it up with Amazon is brilliant. All you have to do is go to your skills and then you have to search for a skill. So search for the Govi home skill just by dismissing this and then clicking on the search icon type in there Govi it should come up saying Govi home which it does and then you need to link the Amazon device with your Govi home account which you've just created same username and password and then you'll be able to use the Amazon control and again the same principle if you've got a Google device then just set it up with your Google home and then you'll be able to control the lights just by asking your Amazon device or your Google smart assistant so I'm just finishing off now it's discovered the one light I can then choose to add that light to one of my groups now I'm going to add it to my office because obviously that's where I am and now if I turn on the lights in the office or whatever then the desk light will come on I've also renamed it so it doesn't have to have a code name it can be called anything so I've called this desk light so turn the desk on okay so you get the idea. Now the things that you can do via voice are change the brightness, turn it on and off, and also you can scroll through the colors and so therefore change colors. But my friends, overall, I'm absolutely blown away with one, the quality of this, how easy it was to connect and stick. It was very sticky, but it also came with those extra sticky pads and the price is just insanely good. At just $24.99 in the UK, $34.99 in the US, I'll leave the links to both in the description. I definitely recommend you go out and get one, they are far better than the Philips Hue Strip Light.